How you doing guys? Welcome to another episode. In this episode I'm gonna show you how to replace your uh, bolts for your brake caliper. This is a Subaru bolt and uh, obviously I'm replacing those two on the caliper bracket because uh, I don't know if you guys remember when I was doing the video on how to clean, fix and remove stuck rotors that I pin my calipers, I pin rotors, I do the whole maintenance on the 2010 Subaru well that day <coughs> I finished the passenger side for the video and uh, I was doing the driver's side and I, when I tried to remove the bracket on the driver's side I snapped one of the bolts on the bracket so those I mean it was really stuck I had to go get a new, a new bracket that I replaced and I put new bracket on the driver's side so when I remove the bolt uh, on the caliper bracket for the passenger side, I noticed that those bolts, you know, they're really rusty and uh, it was uh, the threads that were getting damaged. So I replaced the other ones on the driver's side, but now I'm going to put in new ones on the passenger side. Uh, rear ones are good, so I'm going to show you how to replace them and how to go through all the... Uh, bolts in here because it's kind of tight in here for these two bolts on the strut but I'm gonna show you how to do it we have the two new bolts for this side right here okay guys um, to remove the bolts on the bracket you know you don't have a lot of space to remove these bolts the the way that you can do it if you have uh, a wrench that's gonna be 17 millimeter if uh, you be able to remove them without removing this bolt uh, you have a big wrench with a cheater bar uh, that, That's gonna work too, but in this one I'm gonna show you how to remove it by removing this bolt This is the one on the bottom for the strut. You can remove that one, but this one right here uh, You have the setting uh, You have your camber Aligning here if you remove this one you're gonna have to take your car uh, to alignment So you only have to remove this one on the bottom uh, put a 19 millimeter socket on this side get uh, another ratchet on the other side same thing 19 millimeter get a cheater bar and like that we'll be able to remove it because they're really tight let's see if it's loose Still really tight, but cheater bar, man, that's the way to go with the cheater bar. Okay, now that one is loose, we can remove it now, and we'll be able to get access to remove those two bolts right there. Okay, uh, the nut on this side is already removed. Just pull out your bolt, and now you have all the access to put your ratchet and loosen out those bolts okay guys if you can see right here those thread I was missing already the thread that were getting damaged. These ones too. Um, I almost stripped this bolt. You can see there. Uh, so I was fortunate enough to remove them first time when I was doing the other video. But uh, this one break easily, especially if this car is coming from up north, a lot of roads over there. So best way to do to avoid problems like snapping uh, this type of bolts because when you snap one of these bolts on the on the bracket uh, you have to get a new bracket and it's not really expensive but uh, you know you can avoid that so we had the new uh, bolts right here the Subaru okay guys uh, if you can see I ended up removing everything I removed the bracket rotor uh, caliper because when I tried to put a new bolt, uh, 
when I tried to put a new bolt, it was stuck in here. It doesn't want to go in. So much rust building here on the holes. The, you see there, the bolt basically, it's hard to put it in from here. And this, uh, it's not thread in here. It's just a hole so we, you can put your bolt through and it threads on the bracket itself. So uh, I ended up removing everything. At the beginning I cleaned with a wire brush, but uh, it's so much rust in here, the, the bolt is, it's hard to put the bolt, and that's why uh, you can see there, the threads, there's no threads in here on the bottom. It has threads here, because in here, it threads on the bracket, but so much rust built on this one. Then when you take it out and in, you know, it's messing up the threads. So much stuff uh, built up in here. So, best thing to do is clean them up. And and I have here one of these files. I'm just gonna go through them. Clean everything around. Okay guys, after cleaning those holes um, with the file, Make sure that they get smooth and we remove all the rust. You can see now the bolts go in and out easy. Okay, so that was the problem on this car. So much rust built up in here uh, from all these years from snow and salt. And uh, you see there, there's no threads left in here. So that's how you fix the, those type of problems, guys. And remember, don't put any load because you start, you're still uh, missing this bolt. So make sure that you tighten this bolt up before you uh, put the car on the ground because you're gonna mess up your alignment. Right now, uh, there is no problem. You're not gonna mess up your alignment. So now I'm gonna put everything back together. Uh, I'm gonna show you the torque specs for every bolt in here. Torque range, uh, you gotta set it up to 88.5 foot-pounds of torque. Same for the bottom one. Okay, guys, the bolts on the caliper, uh, those are 14 millimeter bolts, and you have to torque them down to 19.9 foot pounds of torque. To torque this down, uh, you have to torque it down. To 148 foot pounds of torque. Top one calls for 120, but the bottom one calls for 148. Okay, 148 foot pounds of torque. Now you just have to put your wheel, torque it down to spec, everything is torqued down, and uh, that's how you replace your uh, brake caliper bolts, guys. Uh, Really dangerous to have these bolts. They almost snap on me. The other side did snap. So I put new bracket and new bolts on the other side. Okay, guys. So that's how you replace them. Remember, uh, remove that one. Don't remove the top one. And everything else is pretty much straightforward. I hope you like this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.